Alright, in this video I'm going to show you um, some tips to make the bezels a little bit better quality and uh, a way to streamline the process so it's a lot faster. And before I do, I'm just going to go ahead and show you some of the work I've been able to do. Here's Mortal Kombat 1, and let's go ahead and take a look at the bezels that I made for this one. Alright, so here's the first one. The second one, this one includes kind of like the plasticky bezel thing, but in the past I had it crooked, and I figured out how to straighten that up and even that out, and uh, the aspect ratio is actually proper. Um, basically what I did was I started with a 1440 by 1080 aspect ratio, and then I reduced it in even amounts. Like if I took 20 off of the X, I would take 20 off of the Y and keep it even until I got it to where basically the plastic bezel isn't really covering any of the screen. So the aspect ratio is correct. All right, and then a third one here. And um, looks pretty good there. And then a fourth one that's not that interesting, really. But um, you'll notice with any of these, if I take off the art, the image doesn't get altered. The screen is always the same, except for with this one. Because this one gets a little smaller, watch. A little bigger, a little smaller. But it's the same aspect ratio, as you can see. And if I put it cropped or full, it's the same. So the image isn't being distorted in any way. So I'm happy with that. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at another one. I did uh, more work on Mortal Kombat 2. Get that volume down real quick. Alright. So here's our first one. <clears throat> go ahead and get it to like a title screen or something. Alright. And here's our second one. And if you saw it in the previous video, you notice it got distorted. Well, now it's not. I've got it to where if you look at the Mortal Kombat logo, it's still like the correct shape and everything. Nothing's been cut out. Nothing's been distorted. Um, it just fits nicely. The screen is full size. If I go to cropped full, it's the same. And then that's artwork two. And here's artwork three. Um, and you can even read that stuff there on the left where it says uh, loser pays, winner stays, and all that, you know, so that's kind of cool. So this is the artworks I have for Mortal Kombat 2. Alright, and then I did some work on Street Fighter 2 Champion, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. I think this might be the same, I don't think I've gone back and touched it, we'll see. So our work one, yeah, this is the same. I haven't gone back. I don't like these. This one I like. This is a good template, this one. The rest of them are kind of a mess. All right, hyper fighting, though, I went back and did some work on. <clears throat> and this one's a custom artwork. I didn't uh, copy this from anybody else. I just made this one from scratch. And um, the characters... Um, I'll show you in a minute where I got them from. Artwork 2, a little different. One's got a little black border, one doesn't. Just, I don't know. And then one with a bezel. And then oh, I just made one with boss characters, real quick, just to play around. Alright. Okay. And then, um,. <clears throat> Hyper, I was hyper fighting. What else did I work on? Oh yeah, the last thing I worked on, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Get that volume down. Yeah, this again is custom. I didn't take this from anybody else. I pulled this from uh, scenes in the film, and I made this, um, you know, just from scratch. All right. So there's a couple of them. I pulled some uh, images from the cartoon and used that for one. Thought that looked pretty cool, you know. This one goes nicely with it, I think. And then I just got crazy with it and started making a bunch of them. This one has Mausers. And 
this one, if you look to the right, you'll see April O'Neil standing in the subway, you know, kind of all alone. And then I went with this one, same thing, but, you know, the whole theme of April getting attacked by the Foot Clan and Ralph needing to save her and whatever. So. But then I decided to do something a little different with that and go ahead and have, like, you know, a bunch of characters here. You get like a uh, shredder and a foot soldier on the bottom, you got Ralph and Leo at the top. And I was like, might as well just do all four turtles. So I did this, and I think that looks really, really good. And it didn't take long. I did all of these in like 20 minutes or something. And basically, um, I'll show you what I was doing for that. I went ahead and just played the cartoon and would pause it randomly, you know what I mean? Just to get still snapshots. And then I would basically just highlight and select an area that's uh, 236 pixels across and 1080 pixels tall. And then paste it in to a template on either side and uh, draw some little black lines and that was it. So it's not that hard. And, um, you know, just went and took like a crap load of snapshots, you know what I mean? So that's what I recommend you do. You just get a movie that you like or something that's related to the thing you're doing. Just get some good resource material, you know, to make your own bezel art. You know. These would make good ones, like this foot soldier on one side and that one on the other side. You know, it's a lot of fun making these, you know. I really like the way the turtles look in that old movie. Just look at them. If they did that for the new turtle movies, oh man, that'd be so much better than the CGI crap. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. And I could use that. It would fit nicely on a side. But anyways, I could always make more Ninja Turtle art. Um, let me show you about the um, <clears throat> Street Fighter characters where I got those from. Um, pictures. Capcom. Here's where a uh, collection of Street Fighter art I have. And uh, I'll go ahead and basically show you how it's done, you know. So I have a template here. And uh, this template works really well. Let me make sure the default lay is a good template. And is this the right size on? Properties. Details. No, it's not. I have an even better template. Replace that one. Okay. And then default lay on this one versus the default lay on this one. Make sure this is a good template. Yes, yes, yes. This one says 239. I should say 240 here. Okay. And then this looks perfect here. That looks perfect there. Alright, now this is a good template now. Alright, file, save. Okay. Alright, so basically you just need a template like this to begin with. Basically what you're going to want is a piece of artwork that the dimensions of it are 1920 by 1080. Okay, and if it's not 1920 by 1080, you can easily just click here go to scale layer and change it to 1920 by 1080 and hit scale all right and then once you've done that you know you just want that to be your template you want something that's 1920 by 1080 and this width right here is always 236 x across let me go my little select tool so that is about 237 238 if you can see down here at this corner there's going to be some numbers and you can see when i get to the edge of the side art it's just at the 236 kind of area, 237 maybe. So that's handy to know because it's going to make it the work of making bezels really quick and painless and easy. So you've got your nice little template and it has a big transparent area. Okay. And then what did we say we're going to do? Oh, I was going to show you how to use characters and stuff. Well, it turns out if you take the character, like the cutout of a character, and put it somewhere, um, there's always going to be just a little bit of stuff left around the edges that you can't get rid of unless you spend a lot of time on it. So it helps to put them on a similar background. If the background originally was white, it's better to put them on a white kind of background. If the background originally was black, it's good to put them on a black kind of background. And these are going to have like white kind of backgrounds. So let's use a texture that's kind of like that. 
So here's a paper texture I just Googled on Google Images. Okay, just paper texture, you know, pretty much white, but it has some life to it, you know, it's not completely blank white. Um, <clears throat> you can use your select tool, and you just go ahead and, you know, get the, uh, the height to 1080 eventually. It's going to have to be stretched. Should have got a paper texture that was already um, freaking the right resolution. But anyways, so let's see, it's only 500 tall, so yeah, we're going to have to do a lot more than that. Um, extra 1080, so that's a lot. Bring up my little calculator here. Calculator. 1080 minus 500, yeah, I already know. 580, okay, yeah, I get that. Uh, difference and then what I want to know is 236 is always the width so 236 plus what was that five shit I forgot right 580 yeah 580 equals needs to be 816 wide okay so let's figure that out it's gonna need to be 816 861 well you know what it doesn't have to be that complicated I'll show you what I mean this is just paper texture so you can get it like however you you know, however you want, doesn't matter. Alright, so edit, copy, come on over here, edit, paste. <clears throat> okay, so go to the image, scale layer, we want it to be 1080 height, we know that. Okay, that gives us a 261 width. And remember, we want 236 width, so I'm just gonna cut some of that off because it's gonna be too wide. Let's just grab it and get it in there, about like so. Oh, that's really 1080, it looks like it's a little small to be honest with you. Guess it's okay. Alright, transform tool. Bring it down here just in case. Alright, now over here you can watch where it says width. I'm going to get it to where it says 236. Or maybe 237 to make sure it covers up the art underneath. Boom. And I'm going to hit scale. Alright. There's a little bit of black left over. See how there's a black edge here? So. But I think that'll actually work in our favor. It'll probably look pretty good. But if we want to get rid of it, I guess we can go as high as 238. It's kind of hard to do that, so let's do it this way manually. Alright. Scale. A little bit of that black left. Oh, it's counting this part that's on the outside edge here. Let's just scoot it over just there. Let's go ahead and scoot this whole thing over just a hair. So it's actually fitting in there. As you can see, it was hanging off the side. Okay. So it's all, that looks pretty good. Alright, now let's check it in the uh, transform tool. Yep, looks good there. And now maybe we can make it even skinnier. 237, let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks really good. 237 is safe. You know what I mean? Remember the original image only came to about 237. Alright, so now we're just going to edit. Copy this. <clears throat> and we're going to paste it on the other side. Oops, wrong tool. Got to get back to our select tool to drag it. Oh, come on. <laughs> mm, edit. Paste. There we go. Okay. Move this over just a hair. Okay. Get it into position. There we go. Alright, select in the middle here, just to deselect. There, now we got a template for some fresh artwork here. So let's go ahead and grab some characters. <clears throat> you know, I'm going to do, uh, I think I'm going to do like Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Okay, so let's do that. Get rid of this paper one on the anymore. Let's grab some Street Fighter 2 Turbo kind of characters. Mmm, who we got here? Better two turbo characters. Super Street Fighter 2. Yeah, now we're getting into them. Alright, well, let's start with DJ. 
All right. And he's 500 tall. That's pretty good. All right. So what you want to do is you want to add a transparency la layer, layer, transparency, add alpha channel. Then you want to get your magic wand tool. Just click somewhere on them. All right. And then in the white area, you hit right click, edit, and cut. Okay. That easy. And then you get back your select tool and just deselect. All right. Then you go edit, copy, come back to our template here, get this out of the way, right click edit paste, <clears throat> All right, there's our DJ, so let's go ahead and put them into place, stick them right up here, okay, there we go, that easy, alright let's go ahead and grab another character, who else do we want, let's see, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, let's just do the new characters like Cammy and DJ and Fei Long and T-Hawk, you know what I mean? Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, those were kind of the brand new characters. Alright, so let's go ahead and edit again. Okay, same thing as before. Go ahead and layer, transparency, add alpha channel, magic wand tool, click somewhere, and then right click, edit, and cut. Alright, and then we can use our magic wand tool to remove these little areas inside here. Cut, one in here. Cut. And that looks pretty good. Now if you wanted to get rid of any trace of any little leftover, what you could do is use the erase tool, you know what I mean? And you could zoom in and you could just kind of like erase anything, you know what I'm saying? The size is 20, let's bring it down a bit. If you had plenty of time, you could just erase anything you wanted to that, you know what I mean, was left over. A funny place to be working on, but you get the idea. But uh, anyways, let's get back to that. <laughs> edit, copy. Okay, and get in here. Edit, paste. Oh, we didn't get our cami. Edit, edit paste. Ah, uh, must not have deselected. So let's try that again. Alright, there's Kimmy again. Okay. Layer, transparency, alpha channel, magic wand, right click in the white, cut out the crap you don't need, magic wand in any more white areas, and cut out the crap you don't need. This time, I'm gonna get the select tool, deselect, edit, copy, and now it should work. Right click, edit, paste. There we go. Is that Cammy? Okay. Now, uh, which side do we want to put Cammy on? First, let's make her the right height. 500 pixels will work. We didn't know that because that's how high uh, DJ was. And it works out. Scale. Okay. Let's see how she looks underneath him. Okay. And then maybe over here. I don't know where I want her. I'm going to put her in the bottom corner. How about that? Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and grab our next two characters here. Let's get Fei Long. Alright. Come on over here. And again, add a transparent layer. Get your magic wand. Click. And then right click, edit, cut, magic wand in here. Oh, it lost some of his shoulder. So let's undo that. That's no problem. We can fix that. And undo fuzzy select. All we gotta do to fix that, let's go ahead and uh, zoom in on this area a little and connect this line better than the artist did. So we're gonna go to pencil. Okay. And I wanna get that same color, so I'm gonna use ink blotter for this color. Okay. Now I got my pencil. It's five pixels. Let's make it really small just in case. Maybe even smaller. Okay. That looks pretty dark. Let's use this color up here too. That ought to cover that 
little spot. Alright, so now let's try it. Magic wand. Select. Looks good to me. Cut. There we go. Select a mirror. Edit. Cut. Alrighty. Get our little select tool back. Deselect the image area. Copy the whole thing. Come in here. Okay. Paste them in. <clears throat> Get the size. Over here, floating selection, scale layer, 500 height, find my keyboard. Click in the width so it fixes the aspect ratio of them. There we go. Oh, he looks really tiny now. Yeah. Alright, let's move him around. Let's see what he looks like over here. Let's see what he looks like over here. Let's put him here. Get him about that height. Mm, yeah, that looks pretty good right there, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead go ahead and get T Hawk. Alright, we don't need this other one open anymore. Alright, what's this one behind here? Oh, that's nothing. Alright, T Hawk. I don't know if the magical wand will get them right. We'll try. Layer, transparency, add alpha channel, magic wand. I don't know, I might have messed up the feather, but let's find out. Edit, cut. Yeah, it kind of messed up that feather. Alright. Let's get in there closer so we can see what we're working on here. Alright. No big deal, we can fix this. Okay. <clears throat> Ink blot tool. Get some of this color here. Pencil. Fill in this little white spot right there. This little white spot right here. Go ahead and get a lighter color. It's pretty dark. Alright, fill in this white spot right here. Should be good. Let's try it. Magic wand. Hmm, I don't know if it's got it or not. Let's try. <laughs> Still didn't get it. I guess that was too light of a color I was using there. Let's use a little bit darker color. Let me try this darker color here. That color out of work. Okay, pencil. Alright. Hopefully that got it. There we go. Alright, now we're in business. Select tool, deselect everything. Edit, copy, come on over here, click edit paste, and it looks like he's a pretty good size already, let's take a look at his, at his placement over here. You know T-Hawk's really big, you know, so I'm thinking just for fun, let's make him extra big. Alright, scale later. Let's make, yeah, he's already a little bit bigger than the other guys, but just for fun, because he's freaking T-Hawk. Let's go ahead and bump him up a little. Yeah, he's supposed to look really big. You know? Actually, I was about to make him even bigger, but you know what? That ought to do. That'll be okay. Get him about the same height off the ground as Cammy over there on their side. Get his shoulders squared in there pretty good. Alright, now he's in there. Okay, now I'm going to show you another trick you can do with GIMP here. Just like the paintbrush tool, or whatever kind of tool. Um, this little pixel here. So on one pixel, let's bump it up to like, I don't know. Seven pixels? Uh, that might be too big, I don't know. Alright, so let's try... Click right here. Alright. And then you hold shift and you get this, you get like a line tool while you're holding shift. So you can draw straight lines. Okay. 
I'm doing is I'm just throwing a little um you know, little black line. Oh I had the wrong color on. Let's get uh let's get the right color there. <clears throat> okay, let's try that again. I had the wrong color. Hold shift. Okay. Looks good. There we go. Got a nice little edge now there. Let's go ahead and give it some more edges. I don't know, that might look good in a game like that, just the one edge. So let's go do it on the other side. I'll click here. Shift. Oh, her hair. So we want to cover that up. Let's go down to the hair. And then right there. All the way down. And then I'm going to zoom in on that spot by the ponytail or whatever. Tighten that up just a little bit. Oh, I don't like that I covered that up. Edit, undo, edit, undo. There we go. Okay. Well, we're at 400%. Let's go down to like 300%. That should be sufficient. Okay. Get back our paintbrush tool. On the other side, I want to check. It's a pretty big line. Okay. I notice I see a little bit of blue here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. You know what, I might go and do the black lines all the way across, just because that will take care of that little edge, instead of moving the image over. Hang on, I don't like the next position. Let's get it right there. Here. We're going to come back and fix this in a minute. And do the other side. Now let's go fix that part by Camus Ponytail. So all I'm going to do is uh, reduce it from 7 pixel size down to like 1. Okay. I'm going to zoom in really close. Okay. Get back to my tool. And let's see what we can do here. The more you click it, the darker it gets. 
can do the old click and hold thing too. That's useful for being able to do like gradient, deciding how dark you really want it. pretty good so let's go ahead and uh, file and um, export as just gonna leave it as art export oh what am I trying to export to oh it's my template um, a new little place for it for now I'm just gonna export it as art1 okay. Okay. Close this. Close this. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to have a new folder called. I'm gonna do Super Street Fighter. This is a terp, this is the right one, but I have the US version of them, so there you go. Okay. And all of this, I to copy in here. There we go. It's in there. And don't need that in the template anymore. Whoa, whoa, edit. Okay, under delete. I just want to delete this. There we go. Alright. Templates back to normal, and now we have our Street Fighter 2 folder. Okay. And our default.lay is looking pretty good. So, the name of our PNG is Art1. Okay. Got a screen mask element, which is this right here. Just give a little foggy shadow around the edge. And uh, it's transparent in the middle. And there's our Art1. Here's our default lay we're working on. And our artwork one is what it's going to be called in the tab. And then the bounds, these are always the same. It's universal. 240 over to the right, because you remember if you got to that very edge of the art, it was 237, 236. 240 is the safe spot, and it can go all the way across to the edge of the other one and be exactly 1440 wide, 1080 tall. So it's unaltered screen. So that's what this X count is on your screen index. The Y, zero, that means it goes all the way to the top, so it's 1080. Uh, and then of course your 1440 by 1080. And then the element screen mask, this thing right here, it's uh, it starts at the same place the screen does, as everything looks the same as the screen. All right, kind of matches it. And then the artwork we just made, it's um, found under view one. Up here, view one says it's called Art One PNG, which it is, and uh, it's always the same: zero zero 1920 by 1080 for the art. Okay. Has to save you under this. So if yours looks like this and you're following along, piece of cake. And this is the ROM for Super Street Fighter 2, the US version. File, save, close. And then this just needs to go in our um, main artwork folder now. And we'll be ready to take a look at it. Copy here. Okay, it's in there. Alright, let's launch main, take a look at it. This one, yeah. There it is. 
You got the little ponytail sticking out over the edge and everything. See? Piece of cake. That's how you make some good bezel art easily. That uh, .lay file is a basic .lay file I use for everything. Like all those Ninja Turtles I did, same .lay file. You know, the same X and Y coordinates. As long as your main artwork is 1920 by 1080, then your screen, your game screen, can always be 1440 by 1080. And if you have a screen filter little thing effect, it can always be 1440 by 1080. And the X and Y coordinates for the screen are always 240 to start with and 0 at the top. And your artwork, when you're you know, pasting in artwork, you know, it just needs to be no wider than about 237 for the X coordinates. And you want it 1080 in height. And you just fiddle around with it and make it however you want to make it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments.